Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Two more episodes for you today. And this level kind of blows. Let's find out why. No, it doesn't blow. People watching these videos, liking them, commenting them, subscribing if you haven't to stay up to the date. I need to make a cute little subscription graphic like everybody does. I like watching videos of like learning how to do cool fancy editing techniques and everybody always has their own little uh, own little version that they make. Isn't that something? It's very original, so I should get on that. Nobody does it, so. Anyway, hopefully everybody's doing well. It's officially springtime here in the Northern Hemisphere. Hopefully you guys are all doing well and whatnot, wherever you are. Okay, this tornado's kind of in my way. Yeah, this, uh, this, le this level's pretty interesting. We'll be getting something very fun here in a moment. I don't want to spoil it for everybody, but you'll see what I'm talking about here shortly. Is that a flaming echidna? Huh? Knuckles, is that you? There's a walrus with a hat on. Eh, the walrus has had horns. Okay. Wait a second. Am I missing something? Where is the, uh, whoop. Excuse you. Or maybe Rambi's at. Well, you can already see that it's gonna be Rambi. Okay, there he is. I was gonna say, where, where in, where in the good gosh dang is Rambi? Let's hop off Rambi for a second. I don't remember how to do that. How do I? Okay. It's been a minute since I played, so you'll have to forgive me or don't. Okay. We must punish him for his transgressions. Anyway, here we go. Bonus level. Hopefully you guys are ready for these. Miss these. Love them. There's actually quite a few bonus levels, I believe, in this episode. So, prepare yourself for a bonus bonanza of bananas. That's coming. Well, that's an easy one. We'll actually be seeing, I think, maybe two new ones today, which have not been featured yet. So, does that tell me that I can't have Rambi after that? Heck no. Oh! That must be a pretty strong tornado. I mean, I guess a tornado would be able to pick up a rhino. Are there tornadoes in Africa? Or wherever rhinos are? I'm assuming rhinos are just from Africa. I actually went to a, uh, a nature conservatory not too far from where I live. And they have, they have all kinds of critters. And I think that's awesome. Like things that you wouldn't expect. Obviously, it's like, you know... That's not impressive, I guess, because zoos exist, which the one in my area actually does a lot of really awesome work. So, kudos to them. There's a life. Get a life. Okay, let's hop off here and grab this plug real quick. Oh, oh, it's getting spicy. It's getting spicy. I'm gonna lose Dixie if I'm not careful. Yeah, so, oh boy. Oh no. Oh, and Rambi. Oh, things are bad. This inclement weather kind of makes me feel like I'm playing Breath of the Wild again. Whenever you'd have... Oh, come on. Whenever you would have... Uh... Oop. <laughs> I guess that was just kind of to punctu punctuate how poorly I was playing. Whenever you'd have an, a, uh, a steel or like a, a metal type item and it would be a rainstorm with thunder and lightning. You'd get shocked sometimes. I thought that was a an annoying but clever mechanic. So, there's that. Oh wait, there's a barrel down there. We can get Dixie back, our companion, if we could figure out how to stop getting blown. All right, stop it. I did, okay. This reminds me of the tornado from uh, Mario 3 in those early levels. In the, uh, in the second world, I believe, with all the, the desert. And you know what, we're gonna get Rambi back. It's kind of unfortunate that it starts you all the way back at the beginning of the level, but you know, for how poorly I was playing, this is actually probably a bit of a godsend. So we'll just pretend that uh, all the good stuff happened and none of the bad stuff happened. And that is how I sleep at night. But yes, there's a lot of inclement weather featured in video games, tornadoes. And also, it's just a popular media thing. Oh, dang it. Oh, Rambi is, he's like, you know what? I got shocked. Oh, I was right by the bonus or the checkpoint too. That was unfortunate. Rambi's like, you know what? I just took an, a lightning bolt right to the horn, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be just fine. 
Get this, get this, thank you. Whoa, there's a lot of, oh my goodness. This level is chaotic. It's kind of wild. All right. We got to keep our composure here, everybody. Now's not the time to lose our cool here. That wouldn't be very chill. All right. And hop off. Oh, you can, just, you can just bonk that barrel. Okay. So keep your eyes peeled here. This windstorm might have some goodies in it. Oh, I'm doing that. Thanks, game. We're just going to slowly traipse our way through this wind. Why? Because the K is there. No. No. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is kind of a mess. Also, jump over that. That's not a bonus. That will kill you. I want that. I just... Excuse me, please. I just... Okay. Alright. So we made it. Beware of crumbling platforms. This level is, uh... It's all about going fast. Actually, I'm really surprised that I didn't just completely bite it there. All right, time to get sucked into the tornado. We're in the eye of the storm, everybody. And you might be urged to go to the right. Oops. <laughs> but if you go right, you'll never see what's left. So, okay, so this is going to be horrible. Great, so without Diddy, things become, oh boy. It's going to be one of those days. One of those days. Okay, let's see how many tries this takes. Hopefully just one more. I just hit the wrong button. I was blaming on that. Blaming on the buttons. Oh my goodness. That's the thing that's tough is like, oh, Rambi's had enough. He's like, see ya, bye. I want nothing to do with you. I'll catch you in the afterlife, I suppose. Oh no, please don't. Okay. This is stressful. Oh no. Okay, okay. So, uh, not our best work, but we, we're we using our multiple attempts to acquire all the goodies. Oh, boy. I'm just trying to be mindful of the things that are flying over my gosh dang head here. Jeez! Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh, I want that. Excuse me, please. I would like to be inside you. Oh, that's not inappropriate. All right, anyway, bonus barrel time. Here we go. This is one that we have not seen yet. This is new. New to you, old to me. A Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze veteran. But anyway, this one is just climbing ropes and... Actually, those are vines, but, you know. I'm just jumping back and forth across. I could just grab one banana. Oh, that was close. I almost died. Made it. There it is. Perfection. First try. Yes. And that's all the uh, all the puzzle pieces for this one. Yeah. Whew. Just need space to jump. Make sure you grab Dixie. She would love to join you on your journey, I'm sure. Oh, man. You see that? Yep. All right. So we don't have Rambi here, so we're just going to have to use our iframes. That works. But we got everything because we're epic. So there we go. Nice, so now we can just coast our way to the bonus barrel at the end. Whoop. Yeah, having Dixie here is such a good fail. Wait, can I? I say, you, you gotta come down to my level, sir? And we'll just take what we can get. We're just getting out of here. That was too stressful. Oh, take a deep breath, everybody. Hopefully that level wasn't so stressful that you feel blown away. And in certain cases, if you didn't do well, it might have sucked. So I totally understand. And in between levels, just to make this quick, we'll grab some some toys to recharge our batteries. We didn't get to do five from the last one, so we'll do ten today and see what we get. Okay, that's new. That's the boss from last time. His name is Scowl. That's great. I love that. Dixie toy. Archie, <laughs> that's great. See, because he shoots arrows like an archer. They thought of everything. I, okay, I mean, we're doing, not doing great. But uh, two new ones, you know, we'll take two. Two out of 10, classic uh, 20%. As you do, that's good math for you. Stay in school, kids. All right, so this level's a little bit more difficult. It's another 
environmentally challenging level. The Scorching Torch. The old forest fire. We don't play with fire here. We're not pyromaniacs. Okay, great. So you're going to be challenged here with... Oops, that was a waste. But as you saw just there, that first thing that you could have had. These are water berries, which I don't believe are a thing in uh, the real world here. But you'll need those if you want to put out the fire. It's actually a mechanic that's pretty necessary to complete basically the entire level. So just be uh, very on top of your berry throwing and also cutting grass. That's going to be an important component moving forward. I don't know if there's anything up there. It's just a banana coin. Okay. So you'll need your berries, your blue balls, to uh, help you as you navigate this fiery landscape. You see any of the platforms here with the trees that are kind of like a dark gray or like a black color? Those ones will disintegrate, so you gotta be careful. That's how things work in real life, so it's very accurate, good job. Also, some trees will slowly fall into the fiery abyss. Take your time, get yourself that puzzle piece, oop. And that's what you get. That's a little karma for you. Also, I love the faces. I know that it was more prevalent kind of in uh, the original Donkey Kong Country Returns with it being kind of more tiki themed and the amount of things that made those faces as, <laughs> as you'd hit them or land on them was a lot and it was great. That's a wonderful game. Hopefully it gets a re-release sometime in the future with some updated graphics, because I know that this one obviously is their... kind of their golden child, but the first one is also really good, so hopefully they... they go back into the, the Nintendo vault and they bring it back. I've been having conversations with people recently, because I feel like that probably is a bonus. I've been having conversations with people recently about all the games that they choose to bring to the Switch from various pre-existing platforms. So hopefully that's one of them. It's interesting the way Nintendo kind of handles their uh, intellectual property. But speaking of property, not really, this has nothing to do with property. This is a new bonus. I don't know what to call this one, but it is. it just is. You gotta collect all the things. These are bananas. I'm losing track of words, so... You want to blast down and collect all of them. Ooh, I almost missed. And it puts it up top there for you, which is very nice. Being a top is nice. Great. So here we go. We're going to continue on. We're doing pretty well here. Things start to get a little more chaotic, but it's nothing we can't handle. Here at D-Mike Industries, we pride ourselves at being able to stay cool under any sort of fiery situation. And unfortunately, I don't know if they intend for you to be able to grab that plug in time. I guess you could, you know, use the, the water berry. Oop. Or just lose Dixie. You could grab the water berries, but... Oh, come on. Oh, the chaos. I can't say I've ever been in a fire, but I remember when I was a kid. One of the, uh... Oh, there's the end. I'm gonna need to grab it, hopefully. Okay. Oh, that was an epic maneuver. How about that? Remember when I was a kid, one of the things that uh, was really popular in my area was Smokey the Bear. Yeah, Smokey the Bear. And uh, he was a bear. His name was Smokey. You couldn't have guessed. And he was all about preventing forest fires. It was kind of one of those like uh, PSAs that they had back in the day. And he was the spokes bear for it. And uh, it makes me think back to a an old Mitch Hedberg bit about how in the uh, United Kingdom they had an equivalent, they had a, an analog to Smokey the Bear. And instead of having a bear, which I feel is a far superior and terrifying animal, um, they had a frog known as Smacky. Smacky the Frog. So, Oh, that's all that was? Just bananas? Lame. I mean, it got us a life, but... Uh, whatever. Okay, so you gotta be careful here and time a really good roll jump or just miss completely and use your iframes. 
grab yourself another water berry. This do make me think of blueberries, which are a delicious fruit. Especially when made into various desserts and adult beverages. And another bonus. Like I told you, there's a ton of bonuses in this one. They were all about it. I like blueberries. I like things that are sour. That's one of my things when it comes to eating fruit. I like my fruit to be kind of more on the sour side. I'm not really much of a of a sweet person. I'm not a sweetie pie. But blueberry is good. Blueberry pie, speaking of specifically, is good. I'm not really much of a desserts guy, but if somebody was like, hey, I made some blueberry pie and it's amazing and I want you to have it, and I would say, okay, you got it. So, continuing on as we wax poetic about fruit and uh, delicious treats. Oops. That's death? Okay, I thought there was a ground there, but there was not? Okay. We're almost done with this level. Today's episode has been a more in oh, more inconsequential than I thought it was going to be, so that's good for me at least, for my mental health. Playing video games is hard, guys, so uh, show some respect and uh, maybe back off? I don't know, maybe? But anyway, we're doing great. So far, so good. We've collected everything that we really need. We can just kind of breeze back through the spot that we are doing as I neglect to really pay attention to my surroundings. Losing Dixie upcoming would be kind of a bit of a pain in the buns, so I'm gonna try not to do that. Oh, get out of here. That was not fair. And that's death. <laughs> this is what you get for brute force and things, kids. Don't do it. Take your time, be patient. I can't be patient because I'm not a doctor. So, anyway, just trying to get through to the the end of this one. This episode's coming out a little later than usual because I forgot to record it in advance. So instead, you'll get it when I give it to you. How about that? No, I'm just kidding. I slept in today. It's the weekend. Recording this on the day it goes up, which is not typical for me. Oh come on. That fire is absolutely atrocious. It's really burning me up and I don't like it. It's those little fireballs that are coming from the sky. Those are the ones that are really giving me the trouble. I guess if I was a little slower in my approach, I wouldn't have as much of an issue, but I'm just trying to go fast. That's what you do in a Sonic game, right? Yeah, those, oof, those are really tough to to navigate. Let's see if we can do it right this time. Not embarrass ourselves for the fourth time in a row. Fourth time's the charm. Okay. So I guess that's all it took. A little bit of a... A little bit of finesse. Okay. And don't hit that bonus barrel just yet. You'll miss the final puzzle piece. But now you can! Got him! Nine bunches of bananas so we can get the heck out of here. Oof. That's all letters. All puzzle pieces. First try. Wonderful work, everybody. Pat yourselves on the back. You did great. I'm proud of all of you. So that was levels three, 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 four. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you next time. Bye.